Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about some of the important array methods that can be helpful in service law implementation. Those are sum every, find, find index, find last, find last index, index of, last index of and with. Let's start with some function. Some function will return true if at least one element passes the condition and false if all the elements does not pass the condition. Okay, So I'll have this numbers array and I'll write the sum function here. So I'll store the result in the result variable and I'll say numbers dot sum and then it expects a function as a parameter then we'll pass the function. Okay, And I'll just pass here a variable that is number. Okay, and here we'll return if number is greater than five. Okay, so the condition is if the number is greater than five, at least one number is greater than five, then uh, then send me the result back. Okay, so I'll just do gs dot info, and then I'll print the result. Okay, we don't have any number that is greater than five. That's why we got here uh, false. Okay, now if I do greater than four. Then we have one number that is greater than four. Now that is true. Okay. Now I'll add a string array here. Okay. Again, I'll write the function fruits dot sum, and then again it will take function. Okay. And then I'll add fruit. Okay. And then return. Okay. What we'll say is if fruit dot starts with a okay so uh, now my condition is if the fruit starts with a then it should return me the result okay so let me just add the result here okay now we can see uh, it is true okay now if i add b here uh, if the fruit starts with b then it should give me false because there is no fruit starting with b letter here okay now let me check with the array of object okay now i have array of object as cars here Okay, where I have different cars, so I can write a function on this as well. So I'll say variable result is equal to cars dot sum. Okay, and then function I'll take a car that will basically an element of an array. I'll just do return. Okay, if car dot company is equal to equal to Nissan okay if out of this array uh, one element contains uh, the company as nissan then uh, send me true okay so i'll just print the result okay i'll just run this okay. so we can see it is true because we have one uh, element here where the company is nissan okay now i'll say uh, the company is bmw okay then uh, we'll get that as false okay so this is how uh, the sum function works okay now let's see every function uh, i'll just replace a sum with every function here okay now what this will do is it will iterate over all the elements of the array and just check whether this condition is matching for all the elements or not if it matches with all the elements then it is true if it matches with only one or two elements then it is fair it should match with all the elements okay so now let me just run this so this is false because all the elements are not greater than 4. Okay. But I'll just add greater than 0. Now all the elements are satisfying this condition. Now this will become true. Okay, this is true now. Okay, Same way we can add it for string array. So I'll just do every. Okay, now is there any, uh, is all the elements are starting with uh, letter B? No. So this is, that's why we have false here. So what I'll do is, uh, so I'll say fruit dot length. So length of the fruit should be greater than three. Okay. Now I'll just run this. Now this is true as uh, it is satisfying all the condition here. Okay. Now I'll just remove this. Now we can do the same with the array of object as well. Okay. I'll just replace this with every. Okay. Now this is checking all the elements uh, where car is BMW or not. Definitely this is false. Okay, so I'll just do here. So whatever we can have, I'll just check length is greater than three. Okay, so for all the companies, length is greater than three. So now it is true. 
okay so this is how we can use the every function okay now we'll see the find function for that i'll use the array of objects now you can do that with the numbers array or string array as well i'll do variable nissan car is equal to cars dot find okay and then it will again take function here okay and then it is car and then i'll add return again i'll say car dot company is equal to equal to nisa okay basically last time it was checking uh it, it was giving true or false now this will give us this object itself okay i can change the object as well okay so what i'll do is now i have the object here okay so let me just print that first gs dot info and as it is object i'll use json dot stringify and then nissan car okay i'll just run this so we can see uh, out of this array of objects it has find this one okay and uh, if it is not present there for example i'll just add bmw okay then it will return us undefined okay so let me just add back nissan okay now we have this object so what i'll do is uh, i'll just change nissan car dot name I, I want to change the name of the uh, car then i'll just do that nissan car dot name i'll just do that as kicks okay i'll just change the name of the car and then i'll print the main array okay gs dot info and then i'll use json dot stringify and then cars okay so you see now the car name is changed to kicks okay so this is how we can find an object from the array of objects and then we can update the data uh, using that uh, object that will alter the main array okay so we can see the name kicks here now this find function will not work in the old uh, versions of service now this will work from washington dc and onward releases okay okay now let's see uh, the find index function okay find index so for that i'll just remove this all okay now uh, here uh, we were finding the object itself directly but this will now give find index will give uh, index of the first element that is satisfying this condition okay so what i'll do is i'll say nissan car index okay now i'll just add gs dot info and nissan car index so that will give me zero because this is that zeroth position okay now for example if there is any other nissan car here in the object but then also this will give me a zero itself because we are finding the index and that will return us the first index okay this uh, will return us the first index okay okay now to find the index of this uh, the last occurrence of the condition matching we have function called find last index okay but that seems to be not working with service now might be this is not compatible with the service now yet so if i go to w3 school then i have i have the same code here okay the find last index now uh, if i run this then i can see uh, to here okay same goes with the find last as well find last will find the last object okay so i'll just do json dot stringify okay i'll just run this now we can see uh, this is the last object which is matching the condition okay but these two are uh, not working with uh, service now yet okay okay let's see index of and last index of functions now for that i have used the fruits array again so i'll just add gs dot info fruits dot index of okay and i'll say apple okay so i'll just run this okay uh, a should be capital otherwise it will give us minus one okay if the element is not present in the array then it will give us minus one okay so i'll just do this okay now we can see there are two apples here at zeroth index and at second index but it has returned us uh, zero because index of will return the first uh, element okay then we have one more function that is last index of okay. last index of that will return us uh, the last index of the uh, element we have passed here okay okay and now we'll see the with function now at the second element we have the app now i want to replace that with the other fruit for example kiwi and i want a new array i don't want to change this existing array okay so for that we have a function called with okay 
so that will be fruits dot okay then i uh, will say fruits dot with and then i'll say uh, at the index to change it with kiwi okay now i can just print the new array okay. json dot stringify and then new fruits okay but unfortunately uh, this width is also not supported in service no for now but we can see uh, that here in the w3 school so i'll just change this to new fruits i'll just run this here so we have uh, changed the element second with a uh, kiwi here okay now if i try to print the initial array that will not be changed in the initial array we have apple itself okay that's all in this video i hope you like this video if you like this video then please hit the thumb icon and share the video with your friends and add your valuable suggestions in the comment and for more videos like this subscribe the channel thank you